Hey there, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about your leadership stack. Not the leadership you work with. Like, oh, the stack of leadership? You mean my boss, my boss's boss? No. When I say leadership stack, what I mean is your set of leadership skills. What, what can you do as a leader? What are you capable of doing? What are your capabilities? Where are your limits? And um, I want to talk about balance, balancing that leadership stack, your, your unique set of leadership skills and capabilities and abilities. And what inspired me to talk about this was I've been a couple of different things. Um, number one, I've been thinking about balance a lot lately. I just had a, uh, a wonderful two-hour conversation with one of my coaching friends last night about about balance um, and how it's so important in our lives and just like the many different ways that we can strive to balance our lives better. <clears throat> and um, it, full of yoga metaphors and it was, it was fun. Um, <laughs> but also I just watched a video, it's a CrossFit video by um, the CrossFit training, one of the CrossFit training folks. And um, for those of you who haven't been following me for a while, I am a bit of a CrossFit fanatic, not in the sense that I do CrossFit. I actually don't go to a CrossFit gym. The gym that I go to is more of a traditional gym. We do more, more traditional weightlifting and Metcons, metabol metabolic conditioning, um, weightlifting, and stuff like that. There's a little bit of CrossFit flavor to it, but um, I don't go to a CrossFit gym, but I love following CrossFit, um, especially lately because they've been a lot more about health and wellness and just creating um, what Greg Glassman calls these lifeboats in a tsunami of chronic disease, uh, that if we can learn how to live better and eat better and do fitness better, that we can protect ourselves from many of the chronic diseases that exist in the world, like heart disease and kidney disease, um, that are completely preventable. Um, so I've been watching some CrossFit videos and training videos, and this particular training video was basically about variety, variance. Um, CrossFit is all about constantly varied, high intensity functional movements. And so they were talking about the varied. What do we mean to vary and why do we vary in fitness? Um, we vary so that we're not just the one who can do um, a, an 1100 pound back squat. So that we can do more than just that. We're not just a one hit wonder. Um, and so it's about varying um, how much weight we lift. It's about varying the time of our workouts. It's about varying the actual workouts that we do um, so that we don't become those one-hit wonders because that's how we get better. Um, that's how we can get, um, be, be ready to take on anything in life, um, to prepare for, any, prepare for any of the slings and arrows and any of the challenges that life throws at you um, from a physical standpoint. Uh, but I love taking that analogy and applying it to leadership. Um, and so if you think about variance in your leadership stack, right, you can think about your fitness stack as, you know, what can I do? How much, you know, how, if, what's my one rep max for a deadlift? Okay. What is, how many, if, if I were to do 10 reps in a, in, in a deadlift, how many would it be? You know, how fast is it, how fast does it take me to, you know, run a 5k mile? Um, or sorry, <laughs> how fast is it? How, how fast can I run 5k? How fast can I run a mile? Um, and so it, it's, it's similar, like, what's your leadership stack? What are your abilities, right? What, how are you at building relationships? How are you, um, and, and then all the little things that come in with building relationships, you know, how are you at running one-on-ones? How are you at running meetings? Um, how are you at networking? You know, how are you at inspiring people and inspiration, right? So how are you at um, negotiating, evangelizing your excellence, evangelizing your team's excellence, um, getting people on board and, and motivating them to do something that maybe they don't want to do? Uh, how are you at, um, um, so, uh, so what we, we were talking about, building relationships, there's inspiring. Um, how are you at thinking strategically, right? And all the things that 
are involved in thinking strategically. You know, are you, are, do you tend to get in the weeds a lot or are you really good at sort of mapping out game plans and commuting, communi communicating them to people? Um, and then are you good at you just executing, you know, getting things done, GSD, getting shit done. Um, do you have plans to do that? Are you able to automate and delegate? So this is what I'm talking about when I say your leadership stack. These are all the little skills and abilities that are involved in, in being an awesome leader and becoming the best leader that you possibly can be. And we want to make sure <laughs> that when we're training in our leadership training, you know, going to the gym means going to the office, right? And so what do you do every day to make sure you get that training in, that real world training in all of those areas that I just talked about, whether it's building relationships, whether it's just getting shit done, um, whether it's inspiring, whether it's thinking strategically, and all other little things that are involved in there. And so I think it's important to ask ourselves the question, is my leadership stack balanced? Am I a one-hit wonder? And if so, how can I make that not the case anymore? Because while it's all well and good, you know, to take the fitness metaphor again, to have an 1100 pound back squat, like that's super awesome, right? I'm going to high five you for that. Cause that's like at the pinnacle of, of, of that movement. I'm also going to say, <laughs> you know, like how, how fast is your 5k? Right. Or, you know, how long does it take you to run a mile? <laughs> so because people who are typically that strong um, are not um, their cardio is usually not that great. Um, and, and they're not able to do the longer movements, the, you know, the, the longer term, um, the longer time frame kinds of movements. So it's similar with with people who come to me for help on upgrading their career and um, upgrading their leadership stack, their leadership skills, on um, their whole people stack, right? <laughs> um, if somebody were to say to me, especially if somebody is coming to me for help, because what that means is I want to get better, right? You know, this isn't just someone who's bragging, um, and then it's like, all right, so you know, it's like, no, 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 I'm good, right? So that's not that kind of situation, you know, the kind of person who doesn't really think that they need to get better at anything. Um, I'm talking about the kind of person, which, I mean, let's, let's be real. Everybody always needs to get better at something. Um, so that person is just not ready to be helped yet. Um, for the people who do come to me um, and come, come to me for help and say, yeah, you know, I want to get better at something. I want a promotion. I want to raise um, or I want to um, get, get a job or I just want to do better at what I'm doing on a day to day basis. You know, performance reviews are coming up and I want to get five out of five stars on this, you know, this time. Hi, John. Great to have you here. Um, and so when someone comes to me for help, for example, and they say, wow, yeah, you know, Jen, I, I know I need help with this stuff, but you know what? Like I'm awesome at one-on-ones. I love doing one-on-ones. That's great. I'm going to high five you because one-on-one -on -one, being great at one-on-one -on -one meetings um, is, is a really important part of your leadership stack. But what I also know because I've been doing this for 15 plus years is that if you're coming to me for help and you say I'm awesome at one-on-ones, I automatically know some of the areas where you might need to get better at because the stuff that we're really good at, we tend to be not so great at the opposite. Um, so just like the person who does the 11 pound back squat um, is going to be not so great at the 5k run, <laughs> the person um, and so that if you, if you were a fitness trainer, you're like, okay, that's great. You got this back squats are awesome let's go do your 5k, right? Because we want to make sure you're balanced so that you're, you're able to conquer anything that life throws at you. Same thing in leadership. Your day is not just, even if I, even if you are the type of leader who does lots of one-on-ones, right? And I've met leaders who like basically most of their day is one-on-ones. There's going to be stuff you're going to need to do outside of one-on-ones. So if you come to me and you say, I'm awesome at one-on-ones, great. Let's get you better at um, group when, when you're in a group, when you're in group meetings. Because you think, what is the opposite of one-on-ones, 
right? So the opposite, one of the obvious opposites of a one-on-one -on -one is group, group situations. Let's get you better at those group situations. Like, how did you know I needed help with that? Because it's, because that's the way the world works, right? That's the way our natural, our natural tendencies are going to make us naturally better at certain things. And that means that we're probably weak in that other area. Um, especially if you're super awesome at something, then it's like, all right, okay, you, your meetings probably are, are run over or your meetings probably, you're, you're pro probably not as effect effective and efficient um, at running group meetings as you could be. That comes up a lot. Or, you know, what else is the opposite of running a one-on-one? -on -one? Well, you can get into um, what is the content of your one-on-ones. What do you usually talk about? during one-on-ones. Oh, my one-on-ones are awesome. Like we chit chat and we talk about career, you know, I help them, I help them with their careers. I help them, you know, just sort of, um, we have a dialogue and it's really nice and it flows and I'm really great at establishing trust and rapport with them. And, um, and, and I help them, you know, kind of figure out where they want to go and how they can make an impact. That's great, right? That, that's awesome. And that should be what a lot of your one-on-ones are. But what that means though, is that when it comes to more structured conversations or conversations where you may need to influence someone or negotiate something, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, like, a, like negotiating salary, um, or where you may need to have a conversation with your boss about you know, possibly you know, getting some resources for yourself or for your team, you may not be as good at those kinds of conversations, and that's what we need to work on. We'll, t we'll totally take a look at your one-on-ones and how you could do that better, you know, and feel even all more awesome about that because that's going to be your zone of genius. That's going to be your zone of brilliance. So totally, we're going to spend time there, but we're also going to spend time on the stuff that, you're, that you need to work on as well, um, whether it's the influencing, whether it's the negotiating um, or things like that. Um, or sometimes it's the opposite. Like I've had people who are really good at negotiating because it's, you know, it's like a very structured kind of conversation um, and it requires influencing or requires sales skills. Um, and a lot of times people who are good at that may not be as good at the more, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, at the at the less structured kinds of conversations, at the kinds of conversations that are just kind of shoot the breeze, um, and and you know just kind of going with your go, going with your gut, going with your heart. So this is what I mean by taking a look at your leadership stack and is it balanced? So what are your your set of leadership skills? What are you good at? What are you awesome at? What's the opposite of it? Are you okay over there too? And if you're not then what you risk is you risk becoming a one-hit wonder. You risk becoming the person who's awesome at one-on-ones but can't negotiate to save your life. You risk becoming the person who, you know, can run meetings like nothing, um, but when you're asked to, you know, stand up in front of a group of people, you're, you're, you know, you're scared, you're scared, you're scared shitless, right? Or, or whatever it might be. And so to really become the most impactful leader possible, you need to have this balance in these skills because if you don't, then what's going to happen is you're never actually going to earn the recognition that you that you deserve. You're, you're never going to reach your full potential as a leader if you just stay in that comfort zone of what you're good at. And you're not going to earn that recognition. You're not going to have as much of an impact that you want. Um, you're also not going to earn the paychecks that you deserve either because those paychecks are a reflection of that recognition. So if you're not getting that recognition, then your boss, your boss's boss, whoever holds the purse strings is going to say, yeah, that dude, he's okay. You know, he, he, he's okay. He's good middle management material, but I don't see him really reaching for the stars. So um, I don't think he deserves, I don't think he deserves a promotion. And what reaching for the stars means, um, what that metaphor might mean in that fake character who I just made up, um, which is very real though, um, in the sense of um, this stuff actually happens, is this person may be great at executing. This person gets shit done. And you, be, you become, you, you earn this, this, this uh, reputation as being a solid worker. You know, you're a solid worker, you get stuff done. I can really rely on him or her. But is this person inspirational? Does this person form relationships? 
You know, is this person really good at strategic thinking, not just tactical thinking? And so being good at all of those things are what get you recognized. That's what's going to help you and your team to have more of, a, of an impact. And it's also how, how you're going to ultimately earn the paychecks, the paychecks that you truly deserve, because it's going to be a reflection of that value, a reflection of that impact and that contribution that you're making. So if you're feeling like you have some blind spots, like I, I know what I'm good at, but I don't know what I'm not good at. Or if you're feeling like, I know what I'm not good at, I just don't know how to get better at it. Um, I need a structure, I need systems, I need a support. That's what we're here for. Um, that's what we do at the People Stack. Um, that's what our clients hire us for, is to make sure that your leadership stack is balanced. Um, so that you're not just focusing on what you're good at, that you're also focusing on what you're not good at and methodically building those skills, just like somebody who can back squat 1,100 pounds decides, you know what, my, my 5K time is atrocious. I want to get better. I'm going to hire a coach so that I can do that um, in a way that's good for me and for my body. That's what we do. So if you're feeling like you're not getting the recognition you deserve, your team is not making the wins that, that you're, you think you're capable of, and your leadership stack is not balanced, you need help balancing that, just give us a call at the people stack. Um, and so the, the link, um, we've, we've been kind of rebrand, not rebranding, but just actually more like making it obvious that we are the people stack. <laughs> so we've changed some of the links. So the old link was genbunk.com slash apply. That still works. Um, but the new link that we're working with um, is the people stack thepeoplestack.com slash talk. So if you go to thepeoplestack.com slash talk, um, what it'll do is it'll bring you to my team's calendar um, and you pick a time. Um, to, to book a career strategy session. And you'll talk with one of my team members, one of my awesome career strategists, and you'll talk um, for about 45 minutes to an hour and talk about um, whatever's not working in your career right now. Like if it's not your leadership, like if, if your leadership stack is imbalanced, we can talk about, okay, what is it gonna take to actually balance that and get the recognition that you deserve? Um, so that's what, that's what you, um, that's, that's what you do, uh, is you go to, to thepeoplestack.com slash talk and this is, you know, this is about really helping you get that clarity um, so that you don't have to be that one hit wonder. So that you don't have to be that person who gets that reputation as the solid worker and gets stuff done. But, oh, wow, you know, this, but this, this, this person doesn't know how to think strategically. And this person doesn't really know how to inspire, motivate, maybe yeah, kind of, but inspire, no, that's not that, that's not this person. So if you want to become the person who inspires, if you want to become the person who is like the super awesome strategic thinker that people rely on um, and don't know how to do it, just book a call with my team and, um, and, and they will be there. We, we, will be, we will be there to support you and, and craft a plan uh, to, to do this. They're free strategy sessions. It's the peoplestack.com slash talk. And the reason that we do this is that, number one, um, mentoring is extremely important to us at the People Stack. And so we devote several hours in our week to doing mentoring um, to, to folks out there who need that help. Um, the other reason that we do this is because we know that for some of the people who get on the phone with us, they're going to want our help to implement the strategies that we talk about. So in that case, um, we, we talk about that and we talk about what that might look like. Um, so if, if it ends up being a fit, if it doesn't end up being a fit, then, then, then that's cool too. So just go to thepeoplestack.com slash talk. I'll put the link um, in, the, uh, in the comments over here. And so that's the that's the name of the day, or that's the uh, question of the day. Is your leadership stack balanced? If it's not, how are you going to put it in balance? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Talk to you soon.